Hi, my name is John Givens, and today I'm going to talk to you about posterior sacral torsions. I did an earlier video where I talked about forward sacral torsions, and they are called right on right or left on left. But this video, we're going to talk about posterior torsions, and that is either the sacrum has gone back to the right on the left axis, so that's called a, a right on a left, or it's rotated left on the right axis, and that's called left on right. These two movements are non-physiological, so they basically shouldn't happen. They're normally trauma-related. You'll probably find that the lumbar, just rotate pull there, the lumbar will be flexed because the sacrum will be counter-nutated. If you were palpating, then we would normally palpate the sacral sulcus, and if you're looking at this one, this is a human pelvis, and then you've got the PSIS for L5, this is the sulci in here. So if you notice the lumbar is very flat, more than likely the sacrum, is rotated in a counter-nutated position. So in this case, if you do find a, say, a shallow side, but then I guess a shallow side on the left might indicate a deep side on the right. But because it's gone back, it does indicate the shallow side is the side it's rotated to. So in this case, if we said the left side is shallow, it means it's rotated left on the right axis. However, if the right side is shallow, it will be rotated right on the left axis. And that could be a very simple diagnostic tool. Now, we can find the PSIS, find the L5, and bring the thumbs into the sulci. If we notice, just maintain that, if, we pay, if the patient has a uh, counter nutation with a flat back, it is not so much the deep side we are looking for, it is the shallow side. And if the shallow side is on the left, and the deep side is on the right, it tells me that it's rotated to the left. And if we ask the patient to come up onto the elbows, please, as if they're going to read a book, if the sacrum has counter-nutated to the left, it means it cannot nutate. So when you palpate it now, the right side is deeper, but it's the left side that is shallow, so it means that the left side cannot nutate forward, so it must be fixed in counter-nutation on the left, but is rotated left on the right axis. And more than likely, Relax back down. If we ask them to rotate as far as you can, as far as you can, good. So now the, we are bringing it in more counter nutation with a lumbar inflection and we palpate. We we'll probably notice that both sides become equal, which I do, and go back down. So if you find your patient has a flat back, so if you just rotate this a little bit and you come onto L5 and spring, there'll be no spring on L5. So if you notice a flat back with a counter nutation, and there is a shallow side, relax. The shallow side is the side it is rotated to, and it will indicate a posterior sacral torsion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and then you'll get the videos as part of the, the channel. Thank you.